Well, that was funny. I came out to do a film on the two Cymbidiums and pressed all the buttons on the camera and nothing happened. There was no battery in there. <laughs> Duh. Anyway, the reason I came out to film the Cymbidiums was this one. Now, this is the one I've had a while and I believe we have a spike. It could be a new growth. But at this time of year, it's highly likely to be a spike. So, get out. So, <laughs> try to get the leaves out of the way. So, we have that. Views on whether you think that's a spike or a growth. Yeah, well, whatever. Whatever it will be, it will be. But as I came out to film, I noticed that. So, we have one on here as well. Now, this pushed up this growth earlier in the year, as expected and then started another one part way through the year so it's now got two new growths so in theory two flower spikes something is started here that may be a flower spike I don't know I'm not an expert on these things they get thrown out in the garden but what is a trifle worrying on this one and on this one is dots on the leaves we have dots now I'm going to go and get my magnifying glass and see if I can see bugs because this has all the hallmarks of something nibbling at the leaves and it's going to be something small small possibly even not even possible to see now these have lived outside so they're susceptible to a certain type of bug that I really dread ever getting in the grow room and that's thrips um, Anyway, I'm going to go and get my magnifying glass and see if I can actually see anything. There's no sign of anything on these leaves. I can't see anything, but I can see the spots where something has had a nibble on both of them. So we'll go and have a look. But in the meantime, we have something come in here, two new growths, big fat new growth and something come in here. So things are happening on the cymbidiums. Um, the cooler night temperatures should trigger spikes on at least one, this new growth, and possibly this one. Um, we'll see what we do. So this, this could be a spike. On the other one I'm not so sure, so we'll see. They say that a new growth is flat and a spike is round, but I've also seen exceptions to that. Anyway, some Cymbidium news. Right, this is the bit on the end. It's a bigger bit on the end than normal. <laughs> um, sometimes things stare you in the face and you can't see, uh, for whatever reason. Hassles with the car this morning, and that always, in my mind, turns into like a semi-panic. Not, not a, you know, <laughs> running around headless chicken type panic. Not that bad, but just an air of this could be a big problem you know maybe not right now but it could be in a minute and you just get into that sort of panic mode and um, also when it's early in the day like that we haven't had enough of this have we we haven't had enough of the old coffee oh well, that's hot <clears throat> just made it should be <laughs> that's not normal for me by the time i get around to filming and i've set everything up it's normally half cold and then by the time i finish filming it is cold and not finished. Um, anyway, the trip out today to Burnham's and the Orchid Nursery. This morning I was really disappointed at not being able to do that. Now later in the day, I've sort of got some jobs to do and some various things and it suddenly dawned on me, well then i just go tomorrow. <laughs> so the downside of that was Will be there won't be a Sunday chat as such tomorrow. I, I, I won't be back in time to mess about doing that sort of thing. So we'll miss it. I'll either do it on Monday or we'll, we'll just miss it. Um, um, yeah, so I'm going to repeat what I did today, only hopefully successfully tomorrow. Um, there will be some bonuses. There's far less traffic on the road on a Sunday than there is on a Saturday. So I won't have to leave quite so early to get to the place for breakfast. I've had a look. And they still open at 9 o'clock on Sundays for breakfast. So that stays the same. 
Burnham's still open at 10, like they do on Saturday, so that doesn't change. And the Bonsai Nursery is open on Sundays. It closes on Tuesday, otherwise it's open six days a week. So I'll just go tomorrow. <laughs> so, duh, why didn't I think of that earlier today? You know, anyway, so, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head off tomorrow. Um, for this particular trip, the weather isn't that important, quite honestly. I obviously don't want to walk around a bonsai nursery in the rain. Um, we've lost the heat now. Um, and there's no sign of any rain in our, our area, basically, or the farther southwest in the case of Devon. So we shouldn't get any. And, and if there is going to be any, it'll be a shower. So it's the sort of thing you can shelter and then venture out later. So I'm just going to repeat what was planned for today, tomorrow instead. And hopefully it will be just as enjoyable. It might even be more enjoyable because it will be a relief because it's something I didn't think was going to happen and now it is. So that will be nice. Plus, as I said, you know, <laughs> people don't tend to get up and, and about much on early Sunday morning so I reckon I'll have the roads almost to myself for the first hour or so. Which means I get going, you know, do more miles per uh, per minute sort of thing. So that's the plan. Um, rather than do a separate video, I've stuck it on the end of the Symbidiums bit. That was the video that was planned to be loaded later today, Saturday, anyway. So I've just added this bit on. So uh, we'll go from there. And um, as I say, it's, I know people look forward to the Sunday chat and everything, but... Um, you never know, it depends what time I get back. I might be able to post the film of Burnham's like later on Sunday, because I keep forgetting, although it might be later on Sunday for me, for where most of my viewers are, on the Orchid channel anyway, which is the States, you know, it, it's, uh, whereas with me it might be early evening, people in the States, it's lunchtime, so there's still plenty of day left to actually watch that video. So I might do that. The um, Filming of the bonsai nursery, providing I'm allowed to film. It's free advertising, I can't see them saying no somehow. Um, I'll post that on Monday. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll post that on Monday. Um, just as a point of interest while I'm on, um, the number of watch hours on the bonsai channel is almost there. It's nearly up to 4,000 now. I would suspect over the next couple of days it will get there on its own. If I post a new video on Monday, it will take it over that, no problem at all. Unfortunately, I do still have the um, subscribers to worry about to get up to 1,000. And that currently is, um, is over 3,800. Um, but the progress is much slower now. So again, I can ask you, if you, if you haven't popped across to the Bonsai channel, um, the link's in the description, or just search Roger's Bonsai with the apostrophe on the S in um, YouTube and you'll find it easy enough. And any subscriptions on that Bonsai channel will be greatly appreciated. Let's get, let's get that up to that magic number that YouTube insists on. It's annoying really, because you know, YouTube are quite happily putting adverts on my bonsai channel and they keep it all. I don't get any of it because I haven't reached their magic number yet. So if you can help me get up to, <laughs> up to that magic number, you're going to deprive YouTube of some of their revenue and pass it my way instead, which will help support all this lot, obviously. So, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get that going. And, um, again, thanks for all the help with the car. Um, as I said, you know, somebody had to come up with the right answer first, you know, and others followed on. I know a lot of people that, um, that watch videos on YouTube, on, perhaps on their phone, they don't actually see the descriptions underneath or even the comments. They just see the video. So they wouldn't necessarily know that the problem had already been sorted, if you see what I mean. So, so be it. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for dropping by.